Hey, what's up, this is Tech Brothers. If you are not from China, you probably haven't heard about LATV. In fact, this is the old name of Leoco. Moreover, it seems that now Leoco company is closed, but you can still buy the smartphone from this manufacturer. You may ask why to buy a smartphone from a company that doesn't exist. The answer is simple, because the smartphone are worth it. Just over $100, you get a smartphone with 3GB of RAM, 32GB of memory, 16MP main camera, 5.5-inch Full HD screen, and Navdragon 652 chipset. Sound pretty good. This smartphone is called LATV Leaco LED 2. Another interesting feature, it has about 80,000 point in and tutor. I think it's really good for $100 smartphone. Today I'm doing review Leaco LED 2. Let's start with unboxing. The smartphone comes in a black box. The front panel has only company logo. While the back panel offers a specification list. Here you can find model number, chipset, camera and other details about smartphones. Inside the box you will find the smartphone. It looks like Lieco Leas 3. We already reviewed this smartphone. You can watch it by the link in description. Also there is user manual and warranty. Same needles. Power adapter with fast charging. USB Type-C cable. USB Type-C to 3.5mm audio jack adapter. And back case. It's really important because the smartphone doesn't have classic 3.5mm audio jack. As I already said, LTB Leaco 2 looks very similar to Leaco Leia 3. It has the same full metal body, big display and fingerprint reader on the back. The smartphone comes in rose gold and grey colors. I have rose gold version, it looks great. On the front panel there is 5.5 inch Full HD display with pretty big bezels. Nowadays there are a lot of bezel smartphones and LTV Leica 2 looks quite old with large bezels. Under the display you can see backlit capacity patterns. At the top there is notification LED 8 megapixel front camera and proximity sensor. The back panel has minimal element. You can see the main rear camera and dual LED flash, fingerprint reader and company logo. Above and below are two antenna strips. Now let's see the bottom part. Here you can see USB Type-C port and speaker grills. You should note that LED Leica 2 doesn't have 3.5mm audio jack, so you need to use the adapter that comes in package. From above you can see higher blaster to control devices, like TV. The right side has volume rocker and power button. They are located in the right place and easy to press. The left side has slot for dual SIM card. LED Leica 2 has simple and pretty design. The smartphone has good build quality. I should note the metal body is really nice to touch. It has slim body about 7.5mm and weight 153 grams. The cover edges makes it comfortable to hold in the hand and it simply slips into any pocket. The display on LTV Leica 2 has 5.5 inch diagonal and Full HD resolution. As I said, there are 2mm bezels around the display, but you can't see them on a black background. The screen has good contrast level and viewing angles. In setting you can change saturation and warmth of the display. The backlight range goes up to 500 nits. It means that you can use the smartphones outdoors. LTV Leica 2 runs on Android 6.0. The same user interface is used other Leica smartphones. So, if you already have device from this Chinese manufacturer, then everything will be familiar. The most important thing you should know. All apps sit on the home screen and there is a lot of Leica services. I really like quickly access settings. Here you can change brightness, open recent apps and many other functions. There are a lot of reinstall apps, for example an app to control air blaster. 
In general, the user interface is fast and smooth. Yes, there are many settings and applications that many people do not need, but they don't interface with smooth operation. LTV Leica 2 is powered by Snapdragon 652 with clock speed 1.8 GHz. It offers great balance between performance and power saving. Also, there is 3 GB of RAM and 32 GB of storage. Please note, the smartphone doesn't support external memory. As you already saw, the user interface works fast and smooth. 3 GB of RAM is enough for multitasking. As for the gaming, I will make a special video with full performance test of the smartphone. You can find it by the link in description. Right now I want to show you some benchmarks. Let's start with Antutu. LTV Leica 2 has about 80,000 points in Antutu. It's very good result for $120 smartphone. Geekbench 4 shows about 1395 points in single-core test and 3194 points in multi-core test. Many today Chinese smartphones have much lower performance at the same price, about 30-40,000 points in Antutu. LTV Leica 2 was released more than a year ago, but it has very good performance. The smartphone has 16 megapixel rear camera with f2.0 aperture. It comes with face detection autofocus for faster focus. On the front panel, there is 8 megapixel camera. At the moment, I can't talk about camera quality. I received smartphone just today and didn't have time to take real photos. Later, I will publish video with detailed camera test. You can find it by the link in description. LTV Leica 2 is equipped with 3000 mAh battery. Also, smartphone comes with fast charging technology. And now I want to tell you some information from manufacturer, but later I will make own battery test and publish video on TechBrother YouTube channel. So, the manufacturer says the smartphone works about a workday with moderate use, or about 5 hours of screen on time. The full charge takes about 1 hour and 20 minutes. If we talk about connectivity, the smartphone works in 4G LTE and has VoLTE support. Also, there is a dual band Wi Fi 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz, Bluetooth 4.2, GPS, and USB Type C. I don't have any problems with any connections, including GPS, as it works very good. LTE Leica 2 supports dual nano SIM card standby. As I already said, there is slot for only SIM cards, not for micro memory card. LTE Leica 2 is not new smartphone. It was released about a year ago. However, I can say that it is better than many new devices. It prices about $120, but it has 16 megapixel rear camera, Snapdragon 626 chipset, 3 GB of RAM, fingerprint reader, and 5.5 Full HD display. By the way, I really like its full metal design. The smartphone looks and feels premium in the hand. So, it was my first review and unboxing LTV Leica 2. Later, I will make at least three videos about these smartphones, such as performance, battery, and camera test. Subscribe to our channel, Tech Brothers, not to miss new videos. As usual, in the description you can find useful information about smartphone and where to buy a smartphone cheaper. Thanks for watching.